Hey guys, welcome back to Dot Hack Infe uh, not Infection, uh, Mutation. So, uh, I want to apologize about those last few videos. Um, I don't know, I haven't uploaded them yet. I don't know if they came out better or worse, but if they came out worse than normal, I'm very sorry. For some reason, of course, my freaking capture card decided to record them in a different format, even though I never told it to change it. And of course, I didn't notice it until editing, Thank God I decided to take a break, you know? I didn't notice that they were different until editing when they looked completely different in the, uh, in Vegas. So I am very sorry if they came out bad or if they came out good, I might change it to that format. But for now, I'll just say I'm sorry because I don't know. So anyway, um, I have done a lot of power leveling just so that I can make this uh, a much more streamlined, um... LP than the first one, so here we go. We got a whole ton of new mail, as you can see. We got one from Black Rose, the one about swimming. Uh, do you like to swim? Of course. We used to live in Malibu until I was in sixth grade, and we used to go swimming every day in the summer, though I went for the hot dog stands. <laughs> oh, I envy you. Doesn't your bike get rusty? Uh, every day. You think you can swim? Then you can swim like a dolphin. Uh, oh, I envy you. But doesn't your bike get rusty? Hey, Piros. Ideas about youth. Aha! That might be true. You're right, Fair Eyes. You're indeed someone I can trust, and I'm great for trusting you. By the way, Fair Eyes, are games something we don't need? Um, I think they're good to have. Don't know about playing them all the time, but it lets you experience things normally you can't. Or you normally can't. I think if we don't have it, we'll just play something else. Uh, good to have, yes. Okay, Piros, question two. Chinese food and hot pots are my secret love, but I feel that it's a little different. Wait. But I feel that is a little different from love these days. What is love to you? Uh, I wonder. Oh, whoops. Love! I'll just say, no idea. Piros, bit worried. You've not seem... You you have not seem well these days, okay? You should put plum dressing on a baked banana and eat it. Okay? No. Alright, I see. I thought it was an archaic name. I love Mifune. I even have his figure. <laughs> Action figures? I didn't know that. What is it like? <laughs> okay. Hidden Fortress. Mr. Mifune is also in a movie titled Hidden Fortress. This is another great film. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Now, I don't know the movie, but you must, you must really like him. Yeah. Uh, Yojimbo 2. If you need me, call me anytime. Depending on the circumstance, I'll help you out. Okay. Uh, what is it interesting? Oh, I don't want to spoil the story. It's a, it's a fantasy novel. Uh, novel? <laughs> I just really love it. Okay. Can you tell me a little more about Lord of the Rings? But no spoilers. Okay. Movies. I like watching movies. What kind? Okay. And? Yeah, I'm starting. I'm getting tired of Gardenia's shit. Alright. I think we'll get along very well. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to get, I'm getting sick of her, like, flowers, meet me here. You know, just that's it. I'm getting tired of it. Like, say something else. Come on, give me something to work with. Ugh. I'm going to start being an ass to Gardenia. I'm not going to invite her anymore. Probably. Okay, so uh, look, you can see my HP before, but as you can see, my HP is quite big, and my level is quite big. I am now level 50, so I've grown 16 levels or so, and the... Ugh, are you kidding? Ugh. It's just responses, but I want to just get this out of the way. Otherwise, every time I come back in the city, it'll be, you have mail. You've got mail. You know, that thing. So, what's up? Okay, come on. Do -do -do. Man, that's five. Okay, good to have. Uh, you are indeed right. Games are fun, but don't use terms like crap. Okay? Well, the, you just said it. There's even a saying. You don't need a knife to kill off a game maker. Just call it crap. <laughs> are you someone that makes games? I've never heard of it. Yeah, are you someone that makes games? Okay. Answer to love. Whoa, amazing. He fair eyes. You are amazing that you answered, but I'm amazing. At me for questioning you, so he a fair eyes. Do you yakitori with sauce or without sauce? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't normally say that. Where is this coming from? God, I hate you. <laughs> yakitori is like an appetizer. I prefer real food. Uh, sometimes you get feathers on it, so I don't like it. Uh, I, yeah, yakitori is a uh, it's an appetizer. I've never had it before, but yeah. He has, a pretty, he has a pretty good sword, but I wish it was... I had that vase-like thing. What? Vase? I don't understand. I'm just... Oh, 
It's a pretty famous story with the characters from Star Wars were based on Hidden Fortress. Wow, Hidden Fortress is pretty cool! Really? Never heard of it. Ugh! Okay. It's a trilogy out in paperback. It's very interesting and deep. Each book is just filled with story. You get sucked into its world. That doesn't say anything! Okay. Three books. No way. I can't read something that long. Yeah, it's like 9,000 pages or something. So yeah, no. I'm not going to read it. I already read The Hobbit. That's all I need. Huh. Plus, I saw the movies. Why are you talking about the books when you could be talking about the movies? At least they have, you know, not CG. Eh, eh. I'm sure the books are probably better than the than the movies, though. Okay, any more mail? No? Okay, good. Okay, but anyway... <laughs> this is going to be the mail episode. Also, if I seem... If I seem uptight or stressed out, it's because I just had a, like a really, really bad day. Today sucked ass. I mean, of course, it's not even over. It's only halfway done. Well, actually, no. I'm only three hours into the day, and it's already sucked. Okay. Someone that makes games, I won't answer any questions about my personal life. It's much cooler if it's a mystery. Haha. -ha. Oh, just like my face? Oh, wait, no. All right. I see. That is true. I apologize. Then how about ramen? <gasps> Peace soy sauce! Yes! I love ramen. Okay. Wow, Hidden Fortress, but it's not that great. Uh, I suggest you watch it for yourself instead of me trying to explain it to you. I'll watch it. Uh, I really want to watch it. I'll watch it soon. Okay. Uh, there's a lot to understand in the first book, so a lot of people stop there. But after the first two, after the first third of book two, it gets very interesting. What? It takes you like freaking a lot to actually get to the point where it's interesting. Jeez. Okay. Oh. Now, can I do something? I said we were gonna go to an area. Uh, but yeah, like I had, uh, very, very frustrating day, man, just God sucked, but it it'll be fine. I'm deciding to record because one, I figure if I'm worked up, it might be funnier. And two, uh, I'm hoping this will cheer me up a little bit because, all right, Black Rose, my two, my two bitches, come on. All right, word list, where are we going? Detestable, vengeful messenger, no. Uh, protected area. Oh, I also... Bleh. Sorry. I also went to, um... Huh. I went to Dolores Evil-Eyed Widow. Jeez, wow, sorry. I went here, and I got a whole bunch of B cores. So I have a fair amount of, uh... Uh... Virus core Bs. Or wait, is that it? What are they called, anyway? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got a whole bunch of bees, as you can see, I, that's actually the most that I have, because I remember needing a lot of bees in, in this game. Or not this game, just in this series. Stop mailing me! I'm not answering, okay. Uh, let's see here. Trading thing. Area by 2 by Cardinia. Alright, let's go to this stupid trading thing. This ought to be interesting. Oh, wait, I think I remember this. I think this is actually, like, really annoying. And I don't like it, but, yeah. <sighs> so, if you want to hear part of my day, um, for those who don't know, uh, well, actually, I don't think I've ever said this, so, new fact, I actually, because uh, my room is a little bit cluttered, I have, like, dressers, I have the big cage for the, the remaining shareholders, or the, the last, uh, the prince of all shareholders, because uh, he's the last one. He's the last of a dying warrior race. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, I have I have the cage. I have the containers for my games. I have my big uh, desk rack sli uh, slash thing that I have all my game consoles on. I have my dresser. I got my bed. I got like a little mini fridge and I have another table. I have my weights. I have my shareholder food. Hang on. Ane has a basin shield and wants a paper cloak. Bait has a plastic sword and wants a mat opener. Catherine has a mat opener and wants a basin shield. Dick has a paper cloak and wants a love archery. Exactly! Which means... Give Ane's base and shield to Catherine and... 
Give Catherine's mad opener to Bates. Take Bates' plastic sword. Oh, no! No one wants the plastic sword! So what now? Don't you have any extras? What a waste of time! This is all I get? You gotta be kidding! If everyone ain't satisfied, you can't consider yourself pro! There should be a love archery somewhere in this dungeon. Could you go find it for me? Uh, okay. Okay. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I have all that stuff in my room, so... My room is actually quite cluttered. It's kind of hard egg. to get around. Uh, golden egg! Golden egg! Uh, it's... Pff, God. It's uh, somewhat hard to... Wait, how do I get... Oh, okay. It's a little bit hard to get around in my room, so... Golden egg! Golden egg. Um... I record on a love seat, which... It's... It's pretty nice, because, you know, it's a couch. It's like a two-seater couch, and it fits perfectly in my room, you know what I mean? So, I record on a small couch, but, of course, technically, it is a love seat because it's, it's called a love seat just because, you know, it sits two people, and that's it. Um, and the thing that sucks is that it's kind of an old one. It's still comfortable, but it's a little bit old. And recently, uh, one of the springs... <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, I'm so mysterious. Duh? Okay. Anyway, uh, it's kind of an old one, and, oh, like, the attachment that keeps the springs in place somehow broke, or, like, one of the springs came loose, and it started, like, poking out the back of the, uh, out the back of the couch, and it's actually, it was very sharp, and, like, really spiky, and I didn't uh, want to accidentally... I didn't want to have anybody get spiked on my friggin' couch when they walk in my room. So, what I had to do was... The first time I found that, I went ahead and I, um... Oh, I took... Basically, I pulled the spike out as far as I could while staying safe and everything. And I, uh, I used a hacksaw to cut it so that it wouldn't stick out. And then it just kept coming out. Like, for some reason, it stepped... Uh, it kept poking out the back, and it was still sharp. Every time I cut it back, I cut it back, like, twice. Would you shut up, immature egg? Thank you. So I cut it back multiple times, and I'm gonna get rid of this stupid speed thing. Uh, me. Good. <sighs> so, I cut it back, and, um... Let me turn this down, because it's a little loud. I cut it back, uh, multiple times, and then, um... Just now, it started poking out again. After I... Oh. This must be it. I'll take it to beam one. Yep. Oh, okay, fine. Oh, that's it! The love archery! But wait! Who should I give this to in order to make everyone happy? I wonder... Could you hand this out so that everyone will be satisfied? What? Wasn't it you? This is it? There's no love. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Okay, here you go. Okay, See paper ya. cloak. Bye. Okay, so I got the paper cloak. Who wanted the paper cloak? I think it was this guy. I ain't moving until I trade my plastic sword with a mad opener. Okay, no. Was it you? So what's it gonna be? I'm not trading my base and shield. Yep. Okay. Sure, this is an equal trade. Talk to you later. Right. So that's that, and now I need the mat opener. Come on. Ugh, what a waste of time! All you have to do is trade basin shield and mat opener. I think I have it, yes. Hey! There you go. Okay. And now, do this guy. Once it lets me move. Thank you. Jeez. I am <laughs> yes. I'm so grateful. Okay. Later. Now I have the stupid plastic sword. Okay. Well, it always seems to work out. <laughs> but it's so draining. I'm so tired. Without you, I don't know what would have happened. 
So how about teaming up with me, huh? Yay! Catch you later! I remember really liking Rachel. Um, I think there's something about her accent that just makes something that she says really sexy, and she's also just kind of funny. Yeah, and likable in a general sense. So hang on, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Black Rose, I guess. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. That way we can stop having you yell out incorrect Japanese. How about that? And Rachel. Oh, she looks kind of like, she looks kind of like a guy. Wait, she's only level 30? What the hell? I could have sworn your party members level... I could have sworn that when you, uh... Oh, like when you gain a new party member, their level stays with you, but I guess not. All right. What do you say now? Thanks for inviting me. Today I'll make a fortune. Uh, what is it that she says? Uh, party, remove. Hmm. No. Okay, I guess I don't really remember what it is. Or if I thought that, maybe I'm... By now, maybe I've just changed my mind. But anyway... Back to my really stupid, boring story about my room and my crappy day. Um, so, sitting on the couch. It's old. The spike repeatedly shot out the back of it. So I had to take it and cut it with a freaking hacksaw because it's a steel spike. So, um, after two times of cutting it back, just today, I noticed that it was poking through the back again. So... Again, I don't want anybody to get spiked on it, so I literally take a knife and cut open the back of my couch, and then I cut it off, like, at the base. So now there's literally no chance of it ever poking through again. But when I try to reattach the, um, you know, when I try to reattach the back, I just can't get it. So I spend, like, 30 minutes just being really, really frustrated trying to get the back of the couch to reattach. You know, I'm trying to do it in a really stupid way because I can't think of anything else. I'm trying to use like a stapler to try to staple the two parts together again, which it honestly didn't look that bad. It didn't really look uh, like redneckish because again, from that angle, it's a little bit dark. You can't really see it, but it was very, very frustrating and annoying because the stapler was the wrong shape and I couldn't get it. So I just wound up cutting it and now it just has a giant hole in the back. <laughs> So now I look like a giant redneck in here. So whatever. Maybe I'll go ahead and go get a tarp and duct tape it over the back or something. That ought to work, right? Anyway. Or better yet, I'll use a trash bag. Ugh. Anyway, Pyros, answer to ramen. Hmm, you're different from me. I like pork flavored. Well, I like pork flavored with soy sauce. What, I can't have more than one flavor mixed? All right. There are lots of plot twists after plot twists. It's unpredictable and very interesting. I'm sure it is. Okay. My god, that was a lot of mail and a lot of me being angry at Pyros and getting kind of a worthless party member at this point because I'm 20 levels higher than her and I don't know if she'll ever really catch up, but whatever. I mean, I guess she could. I could take her into like an area that's like 20 levels above her <laughs> and then, yeah, because, uh, let's see, we're Warp History. This is where I've been training. See, Lonely Ghostly Gate level 50. So if you want to come in, if you want to grind in here, uh, that's a free level 50 area for you. I haven't found anything above level 50. So if you need to grind and you're at a high level, try Lonely Ghostly Gate. And that's just one that I got from random. So random, 35, 35, 40, 40, 41, 39. It takes a fairly long time to find a level 50 or at least it did for me. Let's see. 33, 35, and stop hovering. There we go. 40, 30, 32, 42. Man. Okay, well, anyway, that's a free level 50 area for you because they're kind of tough to find. So, next time, I mean, I'm going to end it off, and next time we're actually going to do stuff. It's going to be less mail, less, less nothing. So, see you then.